Greetings, and welcome to the Open-Minded Skeptic Podcast. My name is Sharon Ann Rowland, and I'm your host. It's the 18th of February, 2019, and it's time for our monthly review podcast. This time, we will be reviewing four books. The first, The Crystal Bible by Judy Hall, then The Grail Kings, Genesis of the Grail Kings by Lawrence Gardner. The third book will be Communion, A True Story by Whitley Stryber. And lastly, The UFO Diaries by Martin Plowman. The Crystal Bible by Judy Hall. A brief overview. Beautifully illustrated, the Crystal Bible offers a comprehensive guide to crystals, their shapes, colors, and applications. With informative descriptions and an easy to use format, it is an indispensable practical handbook for crystal lovers and users everywhere, from both beginner to expert alike. Now I've given the Crystal Bible five stars and an orbsum because it it is just as they just said a book that i do go to constantly now here's the review an absolute gem of a book brought to us by author judy hall this book is the ultimate go-to reference guide for choosing crystals applicable to any life circumstance whether it be for healing, protection, or simply for decoration. This book provides us with beautiful color photographs, full crystal descriptions, and detailed advice pertaining to a crystal's application, its effect, and corresponding chakra position. There are informative and interesting chapters on crystal formation, crystal care, and crystal meditation, as well as an amazing glossary and quick reference guide. Personally, I find myself consulting this book on a very regular basis and highly recommend it for anyone in the fields of healing, psychic counselling and the paranormal, or for those who appreciate and collect the natural beauties of this world. The Crystal Bible is the first book in a series of free. You can find it in most bookstores or online. Genesis of the Grail Kings by Lawrence Gardner. A brief overview. From beneath the windswept sands of ancient Mesopotamia comes the documented legacy of the creation chamber of the heavenly Anunnaki. Here is the story of the clinical cloning of Adam and Eve, which predates Bible scripture by more than 2,000 years. From cuneiform texts, cylinder seals and suppressed archives, best-selling historian and distinguished genealogist Lawrence Gardner tells the ultimate story of the alchemical bloodline of the Holy Grail. I gave this a five star and an awesome because uh, it blew blew my mind and um, made a lot more sense to me about what Dan Brown had written in his trilogy later. Here's the review. Genesis of the Grail Kings is Lawrence Gardner's epic investigative journey into the ancient dynasties of Egypt, Babylon, Mesopotamia and Sumeria into which the priestly king and queens were entrusted with the arcane knowledge, anti-gravitational science, immortality and of course Stargate. Communion, a true story by Whitley Stryber. Here's the overview. Communion, a true story is a book by American ufologist and horror author Whitley Stryber that was first published in February 1987. The book is based on Stryber's alleged experiences with non-human, possibly extraterrestrial entities. Now, this book was reviewed inside 
issue one of the magazine by the UFO Research Queensland Librarian. So, and here it is. Being the librarian for UFO Research Queensland, I'm exposed to a large amount of UFO and alien media. I have to recommend a lot of books, DVDs and websites to both beginners and experienced ufologists alike. Recently, I was asked to write about the book that spawned the interest for me. As a boy around 15, I remember spotting a copy of the book in a Garden City newsagent in Brisbane, Australia. Being a curious lad, the front cover was etched into my brain immediately. I mean, here I am writing about it 30 years later. That image of a pale-skinned creature with huge eyes and a slit for a mouth. Of course, I had to have it. I scurried it home and read it meticulously from cover to cover. For a curious teenage boy, it was amazing. Uh, Whitley tells his personal account of alien abduction from his secluded holiday cabin. He describes in detail his fear and shock of seeing a strange being peeking into his bedroom and then approaching him while lying helpless. He described himself as frozen somehow by some unearthly technology or a spell. Later, in other glimpses of consciousness, he describes how he finds himself on a table in another place, maybe a, a spacecraft, undergoing weird medical examinations. At first, he could not come to terms with what was happening to him. Local newspapers reported strange objects in the surrounding areas. His family, who were with him in the cabin, also described strange phenomena. Finally, Whitley succumbed to his tortured mind and contacted famous UFO researcher Bud Hopkins for help. With the help of hypnotic regression, Whitley felt was able to finally piece his puzzle together. Uh, Stryber says himself that he can never be sure exactly if his mind created all these experiences or if indeed interdimensional beings were actually interacting with him. It would be a difficult thing to live with, considering the fame this book brought him over the years. He never really liked the term aliens and preferred visitors instead. This is the perfect book for anyone interested in the UFO phenomena. It covers all the basics, UFOs, alien home invasion, interdimensional theory, and of course, abduction. It also shines light upon regression hypnosis. I'd highly recommend this. And finally, we have the last book, The UFO Diaries by Martin Plowman. And here's the overview. When postgrad student Martin Plowman became fascinated by the weird world of UFOs, alien abductions and conspiracy theories, he didn't realize it would lead to an amazing seven-year journey that would take him thousands of kilometers across the world. Now, after I read this, I have to say I found the book hilarious, but it really is only a three-star book, so not, not as much information as you would expect. Here's my review. In a word, hilarious. Do yourself a favour and buy this book, especially if you are into ufology and are able to enjoy the humour that accompanies this strange but wonderful genre. Martin Plowman's book is more of a travel diary than a novel. Uh, in it, he details his adventures within the UFO community at large um, and also, of course, with abductees in particular. Martin documents his interviews in a light-hearted way for our, and no doubt his own, enjoyment. He's obviously done a lot of research, and not only into ufology, but also into the places he visits on his seven-year quest. I now have a genuine longing to travel overseas uh, to a lot of these places. There is only one negative comment I can make about the book, and it's kind of why I gave it a free star and it's more about its author. He doesn't actually believe in ufology and in the subject. So, I mean, and that definitely has to be a negative. 
Apart from that, The UFO Diaries is an enjoyable read. Well, that's all for our podcast. Thanks for listening. And remember, if you want to support what we do, then share, subscribe, and leave a positive review over on iTunes for the open-minded skeptic. My team and I look forward to entertaining you once again in our next podcast. To check when our next podcast is, simply head over to www.tomspod.com. That's www.tomspod.com. Thank you.